Okay, I can I can get to him. Ooh, dense iron ore as well. Monster Hunter. We killed our first monster. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video in my French Vanilla Let's Play series. And today, as you can see, we are a little bit, well, trapped in this cave. And we've got some lag going on because apparently my game is freaking out with the fact that it is currently nighttime and we have not yet slept. It took me a couple crashes to be able to. Wow, why? I don't understand what this lag is, but there's quite a lot of it and it's rather. It's just. Well, it's not good. But as you can see here, we are at the ravine and we've got a creeper down there. We're not going to go down there right now, that's for sure. But I was taking a look at, I was looking in, a little more in depth t at these Paxels here, and it turns out that they actually have better attack damage than my sword. Now, the only thing is, my sword you know, attacks that fast, and the Paxel is slightly slower, so it's not quite as good in that regard, but we might still use it sometimes if we want to, you know, do better damage. Like if I got a crit hit, I would be able to take down any sort of mob in just two hits, which is pretty great. Um, now we have, I noticed that this is actually could be, if it weren't for that little bit of dirt there, this could be a death drop if we, you know, if that hadn't been covered up with that terrain gen, which luckily it was, or we probably would have fallen down that several times by now but i'm rambling anyway we should probably go back to our um our base hidey hole i don't know really what to call it oh and you may notice by the way that the world looks a little laggier for sure and also different i added i got this resource pack called vader's alternate textures and it adds well some like you can see there's some differences in the grass and obviously the taller grass as well it has some it's some flowers and such in it too it looks pretty cool i think the only complaint i have with this is i i thought that was my keybind to zoom in but i guess i'll just walk over here it my only complaint is that it looks pretty funky over here where we have the the stones because it has it oops let's put that back it has the tech Oops, I didn't mean to switch those out. Ah, I'm all over the place today. It, it looks pretty weird with the textures from the like, quartz smooth stones alongside the textures from the alternate textures pack. And I am getting pretty hungry. I do have a bean stew, like one singular bean stew I can eat. Wow, that is, that is pretty laggy. Hang on. Okay, we're back, and I made a few adjustments that hopefully will be able to slightly, at least slightly reduce the lag we're having here. I might have to disable the random textures resource pack to truly fix it, but, you know, we're just going to try to deal with what we have here, you know? Um, now, here, speaking of what we have, we have some fully grown crops, which I'm going to, no, not that, not, yep, there you go. Good job. Um, I'm going to harvest these beans, which I put right up there. I'm going to want to, you know, actually replant those, of course. Uh, let's replant these beans, and these beans here are fully grown, too. Loads and loads of beans, although I think what we did not mean to do that. But you know what? I got a Paxel, which I believe has, yep, it has whole functionality, which is good. Got some seeds here to replant that. That's not fully grown. I just trampled another one. Stinking auto jump. Dang it. Okay, let's get these beetroots as well. And we want to get the seeds. I just... Okay, good. I didn't trample it a second time at least. That's that's good. Um, Lag. And those sunflowers. Those sunflowers are very colorful. Oh, and again, I'm trying to zoom in. My zoom... I wasn't trying to sleep before. This... You know, this lag is just really obnoxious, but I'm just going to keep going with it. Then I will, I will try and do something about it. I've, well, I've tried already to do something about it. Apparently, didn't work at all. I don't know why it 
like I don't know why it's being so laggy, but it is. And you no, know, we should. I just I was looking at Chester, and I realized we are completely and totally out of wood, which is a problem. So we're gonna grab some wood here, and then we are gonna work on our um. It's going to say tool set, but that's not the right word for it. Um, yeah, well, obviously, last last episode, what we did is work on our tool set, but what we want to do this episode, what the plan is for this episode, is to expand on the ravine, like, explore more of it, collect more ores from it, and also, of course, actually get somewhat established there oh and also one thing i wanted to do and i just remembered um so i want to make a shield but we didn't you know we didn't have the wood before so i'm gonna just you know craft some wood put it in a shield shape that's not a shield shape remove that stick the iron ingot in and look here we have our own shield and now we can you know protect ourselves and such i mean and you may notice that the shield isn't as nearly as obnoxious as it can be in vanilla minecraft that's actually a quirk feature and uh, yet yeah, another awesome thing quirk can do while well, this grass can i just pause and say this grass is a lot more noticeable when it has all these thingies in it hum well as i was saying the another f yet another feature of the awesome mod that is quirk is that lower shields so that they won't you know, won't be as much in your face unless you're blocking. Because then, you know, they're meant to be in your face, so they're they're protecting you. Did we really... Okay, I thought it was getting dark. It is going to get dark kind of soon, but not so soon that we have to dash for cover immediately. We should probably chop down that tree right there. I mean, I think we we probably should. But also, you know, I also feel like we shouldn't. It's like, you know mixed feelings about that tree because it actually looks quite nice where it is and it it's a a slightly bigger tree oh th oh this this plant i'm getting off topic but i think it looks nice because i mean there's this you know the default mushroom trees and but then these slightly bigger trees that can grow from the oaks i think actually look quite nice and the way it's it's um right next to the water there i think is oops actually kind of scenic and here we have this mysterious pitcher plant which i still still have no i i just whoops <sighs> i i still have no idea what they're supposed to be for but i will definitely oh food um i will definitely go and look into that um after this episode is over if i remember which i probably won't but you know i'll, I'll try to but I, all this running around has made me very, very hungry. And I remember why we didn't make more bean stew. It's because we really can't. We just don't have enough wheat is the problem here. So we're going to, um, we're going to look into some of the food options we have with this little mod pack. Okay. While well, searching through the pages and pages of different items we have, I mean, it's only 17, which isn't much for an entire mod pack, but still, you know, looking through this stuff, I noticed we have this jerky down here, which is, like, you can get monster jerky from Rotten Flesh. It won't give you the hunger effect. We've got beef jerky. Well, basically jerky for every kind of food, even fugu jerky, which you apparently you get from Pufferfish, which is interesting. Um, I think this could be a pretty viable food source, and oh, it's nighttime outside. I didn't I didn't realize that. Well, we may as well sleep, seeing as we, you know, we have a bed right here and everything. But I think we are going to look into this monster, uh, well, this jerky stuff in general. I mean, the monster jerky, yes, but also the other types of jerky. But for that, we need a drying rack. We could use a lava wood, or we could use normal wood. I think we're going to go for normal wood, personally. I mean, no, we can make a pressure plate with that much wood, but we actually need a little more wood than that. Um, so let's go ahead and make ourselves, oops. Did not mean to do that. Go ahead and make ourselves some slabs, and then we can 
um, craft that back together, but then we'll only have one sub. You know what? We may as well make two drying racks. I didn't realize the recipe only made one. Oh, well. Anyway, here we go. Let's just... I mean, we could stick this up here. Yeah, you know what? We may as well. And let's... Because we have some, let's just stick this up to dry while we go outside and look around for mobs very, very carefully because we do not want to die. We're actually, well, I'm actually rather hungry. I'm talking in a weird tense. Beetroots, we could eat, I, I mean, I guess, I guess um, we should probably replant that there. We only got a couple of actual things, thingamajiggers from that, but we can, we can replant this, and you know what we should probably do is expand the farm a little bit. And I actually found an item called the Garden Scythe from Cyclic, and it is super helpful for managing large farms because you you destroy one plant and it'll automatically replant that, and in a three by three area, all the other plants. So you know it's pretty good. Why am I not using my Paxil? Cause it's not on my hotbar. That's silly of me. Um, still actually mine's pretty slow, which is unfortunate. Um, I guess the, sho the strength of the shovel part of it, I mean, it's still, still faster than just using my fist, but, you know, it's still kind of slow too. Um, let's just quickly hoe all this dirt and we can actually lag, we can actually replace this with a dirt block as well. So we have a nice little bit of a farmer array. Now I'm just going to go ahead and plant these beetroot seeds and these seeds. Do we have anything else we could plant? We could plant these beans, but I think, you know, we're good on beans, so we're just going to wait for more growth to happen to expand the amount of crops we have available to us. Um, so I think that farm's good for now. We're just, well, we can't snack on beans. Silly me. Um, we can actually, now that we have two bits of wheat, and we are now able to grow more, I think we will probably craft up a couple of bean stews. Okay, here we go. Oh, we actually, yeah, we want to make one more as well. So we have two bean stews. So that's not what I meant to cook at all. I don't even know what that was. I think it was like all the recipes. Okay, that, that was laggy. But we're just going to grab one more. Stick it back up there so we have our bowls. You know what would be great is if we could find like a, a mushroom somewhere so that we could, you know, have an easy food source. But now, of course, we have no such thing as an easy food source. It's interesting how there are like blossoms on these reeds. I think it adds a pretty cool detail and there are different sorts of the blossoms because that's like a smaller blossom. I don't know. I'm going on something of a tangent. We really need to find an easier way of getting food. Um, but I think we've found our, our best bet. Ooh, these flowers look pretty for now. I mean, there are loads of herds of sheep, but what we really should do is, well, honestly, we need to get more get more wheat because then you know we can make loads and loads of beans too because beans very they grow very very quick very easy to come by hello squids i wish i wish squids like had some sort of drop the head but no all they have is ink all they have is ink which is of no use to us now i think what we're gonna do next probably for the last you know what what is it i guess seven minutes maybe closer to ten i don't know a couple more minutes of this episode that we do have we are going to go run across the water and apparently hurt ourselves rather badly um we should bring some food with us but we don't exactly have much food to bring i don't want to you know i don't want to kill off the entire sheep population as large as it is i want to preserve the population so we can later harness the life force of the these mutton bearing bear mutton bearing um i forget what the word is that that poetic thing well i mean there are a lot of sheep probably probably well definitely sheep to spare hello mr creeper who has not actually left even though i wish that he would just despawn and leave us alone i mean i probably could deal with him but i mean i would you know, I would still prefer not to. Also, we can take this and craft it into 
cobblestone sticks, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to make six of those. Um, and then put it together with some torches and make... What? Oh, oh yeah, because it's a, it's a stone torch and that's a normal torch. Okay, yep. Yep, that's fine. Um, we should probably go over and explore that area right there. And apparently there's a zombie after us, despite him being way down there and we're way up here. You know, logically he shouldn't be able to see us, but he can anyway. You know, he's just, he's a, a logic defying zombie, I suppose. Um, is there anything else for us to light up here? I mean, there's that little bit, but more, the, the real thing we have, the real problem is these mobs that are at the bottom, and also we we should have string. It's what we need. Our, I'm just gonna check real quick if there's any way we can make it. Um, no, but there are lots of things we can do with it. So what would be great is if we could figure out where to find some spiders, because because I mean there are there are zombies, there's skeletons, all sorts down here, down there rather. Um. But no spiders. If I had spiders and string, I could make a bow, easily take out those mobs. Speaking mobs, I just heard one growl. I really should have captions on so you can hear what's going on even... I mean, you can t sort of tell what sounds I'm hearing because I currently don't have a way to record audio with my recordings. I am working on it. There's a skeleton down there. Hello, yes, please shoot my arrows so I can has them. I'm I'm gonna go down there with a sword and hope that I don't die. This is really very, very dark. Oh no. This is not good. I can't see what is this? That is dense dense diamond ore. Um I'm just making it worse. Can I please block off this water? Huh. <sighs> That was, that was a little bit hectic there. What is, what, what is that? I didn't mean to hit a four. That's basalt, apparently. Um, and this, yes, this is dense diamond ore, which is actually, we could get that right now. But first, I think we need to deal with this skeleton. This is, yeah, this is not an efficient way of fooding. But you know, whatever, we just need to get our health up a little bit. And be able to deal with this skeleton. Um, also, I'm loving the echoey sounds in this cave. Cave, Blech. I can English, I promise. Um, we could actually, we could block off that water there, but that really wouldn't help us. What we need to do is get the skeleton down here in a controlled fashion. So that probably means breaking this block and then um, cautiously swimming up there maybe. Is this? Um, that's a thing where we can maybe almost reach to put down a torch. I think, ah! oh my gosh, jump scare. Um, could you not kill me? Could you come back? Yes, please. I can't see you. Uh, this is nerve wracking. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't tell where the, okay, I see him now. I see him now. Okay, I can I can get to him. Ooh, dense iron ore as well. Monster hunter. We killed our first monster. We did it. <laughs> We're alive. Badly hurt and also loads of arrows in us, I'm sure. But alive. I thought that was a monster too, but it's it's not. Which, which is a good thing. My voice is cracking. What what why level are we are at? We're at level twelve and I also want to see yeah. We're rather, rather stuck up with arrows, which, which is not good. But, you know, what is good? We made it out of that situation alive. I'm, I personally am very, very bad at dealing with monsters in Minecraft. I don't know about you, but I just can never do it properly. I'm trying to take out this, um, that didn't work. Can we... Block it off like this, please, because I don't want it to wash away all my stuff. Okay, we should be good to do this now. And we can, oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Is that, 
Uh, I keep thinking that's like a zombie or something, but it's not. I can calm down now. Okay, iron paxel, mine is dense iron ore. Oh, I thought that was, what? Oh, it's dense quartz ore, which apparently appears in the overworld. Curious, very curious. Well, we got our first quartz on accident. Like, I swear that that looks, I mean, does, did that or not look like, um, what you might call it? Words are hard. Um, that yeah, that or not. Ooh, we found some more iron. Um, well, that sure looked like it was iron to me. And we got our first two diamonds, which is just, and we, yeah, we killed our first monster, got our first diamonds in the space of like five minutes there. That that was, well, probably less than five minutes, but still. Um, let's just, and we could probably even, no, we actually, no. Yeah, we can't, my, oh. Uh, <laughs> whoops, I didn't, I didn't, um, yeah, we will we'll want to be careful with that. I'm just going to stand back as I mine these bits, but I think we're good. And it looks like we have this basalt here surrounding this lava lake. I feel like maybe it's found commonly around lava. That seems like something that makes sense. I did not mean to mine that. You know what, I'm going to put it back and then... It, Reclaim that we have some more arrows and stuff. I wish he dropped his bow Because because well various reasons, but we got some diamonds. I'm just gonna Dig around a little bit um, And see if we have any more No, it doesn't look like there are any more diamonds around here, but we are at We are pretty much at the optimal level for getting more diamonds, but we're we're rather hurting right now and we're pretty hungry as well so we can't re we can't heal up that health so we're gonna just um well i think i'm going to retreat back to my little hidey hole and call it an episode but first we should prob probably pass the night i mean i'm guessing it is night yep it is night that that was a good guess we're gonna sleep and hope we don't stuff a Okay, yep, we suffocated. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna hang out here for a little while, go back, find some food and stuff. But I won't do that on camera because we are all done with this episode here, running out of time. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!